Russia will expel 23 British diplomats as tensions escalate during the spy poisoning standoff. The move comes after Theresa May expelled 23 Russian diplomats from the UK who she said were undeclared intelligence officers earlier this week. Moscow had failed to respond to a deadline set by the Prime Minister to explain how the nerve agent that poisoned former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia found its way into Britain. The pair were found unconscious on a bench outside a shopping centre in Salisbury on March 4. They were poisoned by a deadly nerve agent called Novichok and remain critically ill in hospital. NHS England said Detective Sergeant Nick Bailey, the police officer exposed to the substance while helping the Skrifels, is no longer in a critical condition. Now Moscow has said the British diplomats must leave within a week mirroring Theresa May, who gave Russian diplomats the same order. Britain's Foreign Office has said the government anticipated a response of this kind and the National Security Council will meet early next week to consider next steps. The Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement that it is also ordering the closure of the British Council in Russia, which promotes British culture. It will also be ending an agreement to reopen the British consulate in St. Petersburg. If Britain makes any more unfriendly moves the government could take further measures, the statement said. British ambassador to Russia Laurie Bristow was summoned for a meeting with the Russian Foreign Ministry early on Saturday. Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced it had ordered the diplomats to leave moments after Mr. Bristow left the ministry in Moscow. After leaving, he said, Russia today has informed me of steps that Russia will be taking. He said the UK would always do what is necessary to defend ourselves, our allies and our values against an attack of this sort. Mr. Bristow met with Russia's deputy foreign minister Vladimir Titov earlier this week and confirmed the poisoning of Skripal and his daughter was discussed. Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said on Friday it was overwhelmingly likely that Russian President Vladimir Putin directed the use of the nerve agent. Speaking during a visit to the Battle of Britain Bunker Museum in Uxbridge alongside the Polish Foreign Minister Jacek Czaputowicz, Mr. Johnson said, Our quarrel is with Putin's Kremlin and with his decision and we think it overwhelmingly likely that it was his decision to direct the use of a nerve agent on the streets of the UK, on the streets of Europe, for the first time since the Second World War. Echoing Mr. Johnson's remarks, Mr. Chaputovich said, We are sure that it is the Russian state which is involved in this attempt. It is certain. In a tit-for-tat war of words, Russia's foreign minister Sergei Lavrov called Mr. Johnson's claims shocking and unforgivable. The Foreign Secretary's comments were also rebuked by Mr. Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov.
He said, any reference or mentioning of our president is nothing else but shocking and unpardonable diplomatic misconduct. And Russia's ambassador to London, Alexander Yakovenko, suggested the government was using the incident to divert attention from Brexit. Mr Yakovenko said that Britain had put its weight behind an anti-Russian campaign as it tried to establish a new place for itself within Western society after EU withdrawal. Speaking to the Russian state-funded RT television network, the ambassador denounced Britain's decision to expel 23 diplomats as unacceptable and unjustified. Former UK ambassador to Russia Sir Eric Line told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, I don't think it would be sensible to get dragged down into a mud wrestling battle with a gorilla. We shouldn't put ourselves on the same level as the aggressor. We shouldn't allow Russia to turn this into a bilateral battle and have the Kremlin play it into the narrative of a hostile West, a hostile Britain out to attack Russia. Moscow has also claimed Theresa May is too scared to ban Vladimir Putin's propaganda channel RT. The Russian ambassador in London Alexander Yakovenko said, British officialdom apparently doesn't like the contents of what RT says. If memory serves me right, RT occupies the second position in popularity rankings after the BBC. Quite naturally, this is an irritating factor, as the channel presents a different viewpoint. Russia has opened its own criminal investigation into the attempted murder of Yulia, a Russian citizen, and also Nikolai Glushkov, a Russian exile Scotland Yard said died from compression to the neck at his home in New Malden, southwest London. <laughs>